Hello students, just have a look on some of the monument pictures in India. Like this is Jantamantar. This is Taj Mahal, Gateway of India in Mumbai, it's India Gate in Delhi. Is there something common? One more thing I am going to show you, just look to the smile. Just look this tray. So, what things are common in all these things? Are not they balanced? So, whenever we see certain figures with evenly balanced portions, what we say about them? They are symmetrical. These pictures of architecture marvel are beautiful because of their symmetry. Just look for one more. Like this figure, you can see it. Suppose we could fold a picture in half such that the left and the right halves match exactly, then the picture is said to have a line of symmetry. We can see that the two halves, you can see these two halves are exactly the mirror images of each other. So, when I have folded this figure, you can see it overlaps the other and only when, when I folding about this line or I can fold like this also. So, in this way, this line which exactly divides this into two equal halves from left and right is known as the line of symmetry. If we place a mirror on the fold, this is the fold, if we place the mirror here, then the image of one side, this side image of the picture will fall exactly on the other side of the picture. Suppose this is the mirror, if I will put the mirror here and then you can see the other part is just similar as it is. So, it means this fold shows the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is also known as the axis of symmetry. Today, we are going to make some symmetrical figures ourselves using some colors, this paper. Okay. So, first of all, just take this paper, any kind of paper you can take, we will fold it in half, okay, like this and we will find this center line. You can see this crease is clearly visible. Now, we are going to spill a few drops of color. I am going to take two different types of colors. One I am taking green, bit of color anywhere you can take, I'm just putting and now I am taking the yellow color and putting some drops of yellow anywhere you can put. Now, what we need to do is, we are just going to fold and press it together. Now, we are going to open it after pressing just have a look. Oh wow, so beautiful and what is there? What do you see here? Is the resulting figure means this figure, is it symmetric? So, your answer might be yes, it is symmetric. The dots, you can see this dot, there is also this kind of, okay. So, the impressions are both sides similar and we can call it as a symmetrical figure. So, now where is the line of symmetry? Means when we fold it, just one cover the exactly the other figure. So, where is the line of symmetry? This crease is the line of symmetry in this figure. Now, after this, I will uh, going to tell you some more figures and some more lines of symmetry. Here we have only one line of symmetry in this. Now, you can just have a look to this paper. 
what type of paper is this what is the shape you can see this is a rectangular shape okay this is the length okay and this is breadth so is it necessary that we have always a single line of symmetry what is uh, or how we can get the line of symmetry means one portion should cover the second portion exactly okay however you fold so in this particular figure if i fold it like this so we get the this line of symmetry means this half portion exactly covers the other portion so they are mirror images of each other okay so this is the line of symmetry is it the only line of symmetry we have no we have one more so what is that i can fold it like this also yes or no and if i open this this is exactly covering each other means in this figure till now we have one and two line of symmetry but uh, can you think any other way maybe uh, you are thinking we can fold it diagonally but if we fold it diagonally it seems like this it just look like this so it is the portion which is uh, downwards it is visible even they are not covering it each other when we have folded like this they have exactly covering the other the portion which is at the lower side is not visible not coming out okay from both the sides it is same so it means for this figure which is a rectangular paper we have how many lines of symmetry we have two lines of symmetry so till now we have done two figures one is this in which there is only one line of symmetry we have made this figure ourselves and this second is this rectangular paper in which we have two lines of symmetry okay which are shown here with the dotted line now i want to discuss with you that how many line of symmetry does a equilateral triangle have but the thing is i need to make the equilateral triangle how to make that and what is an equilateral triangle that you already aware an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides and all the three angles are equal so i need to make that so i have something interesting for you i am going to tell you along with the line of symmetry i am going to tell you how to make the equilateral triangle using the a4 sheet you can take any a4 sheet and we can make the equilateral triangle so first of all just take the a4 sheet like this and just fold it half lengthwise this is the length okay so i am folding like this so exactly one on to the other we get a crease at the center okay we have divided it into two parts we need not tear it just we need to get this crease you can see this crease now what to do next you just pick this point means this corner and you need to fold it in a way so that you will get the exact corner here at this but not only this you need to drag this corner and it should lie at the crease okay i'm again telling you just see i have taken this corner and i have put this corner on this crease which we have get okay and i have to drag it till i will get a sharp corner here you can see i am showing your finger okay so you can see i'll have the corner here and this lie on this crease this corner and then we need to press it so this is an interesting way to get the equilateral triangle now what next step the next step is just fold we need to fold this th pick this corner and we need to fold and overlap this line above this line this line of this paper should coincide with this one means exactly we'll get the one more corner here and press it like this okay now if we turn it you can see we are left with this paper okay now i have folded this also 
small flap I have folded and we I reach I get this third corner you can see what is the shape so this shape is triangular okay but is it equilateral triangle so let us measure that I have a scale so I am going to measure maybe there is only one millimeter or some difference that may be done by ourselves that if we do not fold it correctly then maybe we can get the mistake otherwise this is the perfect way to make the equilateral triangle now here you can see 24 and after 24 here are 2 3 points above ok approximately I am taking now if I want to measure the second one it is just like that 24 and 2 3 points above and next side also ok so like this it means we get it as a equilateral triangle after making this equilateral triangle we are going to find the lines of symmetry for this triangle so to find the line of symmetry we need to try and fold it the exactly half so I am folding it like this first ok so you can see after folding this half is exactly covering the other half means this is the line of symmetry fine I have drawn this line of symmetry which we have just kept now I will fold it from other side as well like I am going to fold it from this way and I can get the another line of symmetry because this line also dividing this triangle into two equal half one covering the other or you can say this portion is the middle half of this portion ok so you can see this crease so this crease is the second line of symmetry of this triangle and I am going to draw the dotted line here also so you can see here till now we get two lines of symmetry of this shape now let me try it for the third time ok so I am folding it again in the similar way but from the other side the last side which we left with and you can see here again we get this as the line of symmetry which is covering this portion ok exactly covering this portion mean this is also the line of symmetry this crease so I am going to draw the dotted line here also so I have drawn line of symmetry as well now is there any other line of symmetry possible that you can try and you can tell me later but uh, equilateral triangle always have three lines of symmetry only one is this one is this and one is this one one more important result coming out of this that is the all three lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle they meet at a single point so we have discussed about three figures earlier this one we have ourselves made this figure with one line of symmetry second one this rectangular paper two lines of symmetry and third one we have done with this equilateral triangle which have three lines of symmetry now students let me tell you what to be done in the maths lab file so this is the ruled page of your maths lab file on which we need to write the title that we did today about symmetry and the objective means what we have learnt we have learnt about line of symmetry uh, we found the number of line of symmetry of different figures and these are the material which we have used and now the observation uh, you can see the first figure we did is this we have ourselves have made this figure with the color the name of this is ink bloat devil so I have written the name so how many lines of symmetry it have it have one line of symmetry so same I have written here second figure we did is the rectangle and we discussed that how many lines of symmetry there are two lines of symmetry so we can write here there are two lines of symmetry now only one figure is left that we did is the equilateral triangle that you can paste on the next page because there is no space left 
okay on the earlier page so you can write number 3 equilateral triangle and how many lines of symmetry are here we discussed here are only three lines of symmetry so we can write this as well that three lines of symmetry for equilateral triangle i hope you have enjoyed this activity this is really interesting we have find ourselves the lines of symmetry thank you